When I was 12, I received one of my most memorable Christmas gifts. It was my first ever makeup kit, complete with studio lights, a mirror, and probably every makeup product a 12-year-old could ever dream of. I was so ecstatic that I brought it to our family Christmas party the next day and did everyone's makeup. I was so happy with my gift. So happy, in fact, that I had almost forgotten to say thank you to the giver. New York, December 2013, the best Christmas ever, supposedly. Mom was stressed with work and the jet lag was getting to all of us. It was making us grumpy and groggy and I began to fight with my parents. There was so much beauty around us and I couldn't see any of that. Some kids only dream of spending Christmas with their families out of town. And yet there I was being an ungrateful little boy complaining about everything I couldn't get for Christmas at the Niagara Falls with my family. Christmas evening, business was booming. Everyone was coming to my hotel. My hotel, we hadn't had this many guests in 14 months. We were practically fully booked. And when this poor young man came in with his pregnant wife, I couldn't even accommodate them because there were no more rooms available. But hey, business is business, right? They probably wouldn't have been able to pay much anyway. Then I felt bad because she looked like she was about to have her baby soon. So I gave them the stable in the back. Yeah, it was that Christmas evening, the first Christmas evening ever and I was so consumed with sales and business as an innkeeper that I missed out on the keeper of my heart. Christmas 2017. Sure, it's stressful with the traffic, the preparations, and the gift wrapping and giving. but. I guess it's also fun with the family gatherings and the parties with friends. But amidst all of the busyness, let's remember why we celebrate Christmas. <laughs> 